we have a collection of pretty cool items for you to explain what's up here. Yes, this is a part of our Am Todd gallery. And Am Todd was a local businessman, philanthropist, um, art collector, and he was known as the Peppermint King. Ooh. And uh, what he did is, he, when he came to Kalamazoo, he already had a, a mint business um, in his hometown of Nottawa down in St. Joseph County. Oh. And he brought that business to Kalamazoo in the 1890s. And he was known for being able to grow mint and refine it in a new way. It was a very pure form of mint oil. Right. He won awards all over the world um, for his mint oil, hmm. including um, awards at the um, 1893 World's Fair in, in Chicago, so he was known throughout the world and Kalamazoo then became a huge producer of the world's mint and at one point oh um, I think 90% of the United States mint was grown within 100 miles of Kalamazoo. These have traveled across uh, the pond, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, Mr. Todd acquired a lot of wealth through his mint business and was able to make at least eight trips overseas to Europe where he bought and collected all different kinds of art um, from cultural collections to paintings, decorative arts, porcelain, pottery. Um, he would bring it back to Kalamazoo and he didn't just want it for himself. Um, he actually put it in his headquarters of his business and invited the public to come in and see his collection which was kind of the first museum in Kalamazoo. So at one point on a Sunday afternoon the newspaper reported in the 1920s that over 7,000 people came through his business to see his collection. And of course this collection is a true display of unique art. It is. Um, he really believed in the beauty of art and the power of art and he really um, looking back at some of the things he wrote and the speeches he gave um, believed that art could change people and help people better understand each other and the world around them and the world that they maybe couldn't get to experience or explore um, through art, um, they could do that. And obviously, as part of your theme, this community gift, this, this yes. community that he, Kalamazoo gets. He was gets very generous when it came to his art. Um, very instrumental in helping getting the first um, museum building for the Kalamazoo Public Museum started. Donated um, hundreds of items to the museum, and not just us, uh, Kalamazoo College, Western Michigan University, U of M, all have some of his collection because he really wanted to share it with everybody and have everybody have that experience that he got to experience. Um, he wanted everybody to have that cultural experience. What's your favorite piece? Oh, goodness. Um, there's a, a few of them in here that I really like. Um, I like this, um, this vase right here. Um, it almost reminds me of melted wax coming off of it. That's one of my favorite in this gallery. And this is just a small portion of, of his collection that he donated to us. So um, it has quite the legacy here in Kalamazoo and is what we consider part of our legacy collection of early collectors. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.